So I watched a great video from uh, Gary's Guitars the other day. As someone who's constantly on the lookout for like guitar pedals, you know, whether new or used, you know, I wanna make tutorials about them, I wanna make reviews, I wanna figure out what's cool and what's not. I wanna figure out what the best new things are. You know, I, I'll go on eBay and mostly eBay, I don't really go on Reverb, but I'll go on eBay and I'll see the kind of prices that people are asking for. And uh, the, the prices that people want for some of this basic gear it's completely absurd and utterly ridiculous. Like it's almost, it's so absurd that it, it's almost hard to even be mad. Like it doesn't upset me. Like I think this shit is funny, you know? And so um, I think, you know, it's too bad. I think it may be hurting that guy's business, the Gary's Guitars guy. I don't know if, if that affects him. I'm only speculating, but you know, I felt like there was a slightly a disappointed or maybe negative tone to the way that he was discussing this coming guitar gear apocalypse. I could be misinterpreting that, I don't know. But regardless, the point that I'm about to get to is that I think this is good. Like I'm actually thrilled with the idea of some of this, uh, some of this guitar gear going down in price. Because as as I said, it's just crazy. For instance, look at these Boss DS ones right here on my screen. Like a hundred, like a hundred and ninety three dollars for a Boss. I guess there's two of them, but even that's not that good of a deal. That's like uh, ninety five dollars a unit. This one, 100 bucks, 120, 72. That's more. That's more reasonable, but that's pre-owned too. That's. I mean, a new one cost me 80 dollars. I think I paid 80 dollars for mine. It costs nothing. DS ones are, are dime a dozen. You know. Here's another one, 73 pre-owned. That's a little better price. It's still used though. Why would you buy a used pedal for that? Um, that one's a little better. This one's a modded one, but here again, 120. Here's 100 dollars here. $110 here. Yeah, these prices are just insane. These people are smoking crack. This one, uh, that's actually not too bad. $106 for a TS9. A new one is about $150. So I'm, that's actually a decent price for that. This one, ridiculous. That's like, that's more than a brand new pedal. Um, this is a used pedal. Actually, this one looks like a bit of a, uh, an old one. So maybe it has some kind of used or a vintage value. Oh, here we go. So there's a little better prices here now. But still, like this one's uh, this one's almost brand new, going for br the price of a brand new pedal, and it's pre-owned. It's got 13 people watching it. Like, are, are these people are they high? I would never pay uh, $143 for a used TS9. I can get one right now from Long and Quaid, the major Canadian retailer. I can get one for $150, $155. I guess with tax, it would work out to be $170. But either way, like all these people are high. You know, they're they're on drugs. For instance, here's another one, the Joyo Atmosphere, $161. You can get it on eBay for $120, um, Canadian dollars, by the way. So it's like, what, 95 US? Here's another one, this guy's high, 150 bucks, $260. Yeah, it's, it's insane. This is actually mine. I'm selling this one, this uh, Atmosphere, and I think that's fair, 67 bucks. By the way, if you're looking for something to practice, I recommend triads all over the neck. You can go to my website at travelingguitarist.com slash fretboard cheat sheet, and that'll give you the triads all over the neck in, a, in an organized document. Um, I'm gonna refurbish it soon, or rather I'm gonna fix it up soon and make it much bigger and more legible and make it fit with my branding and stuff. Right now it's kind of in its uh, rough draft phase, but I'm gonna improve upon it real soon. It's, it's worth 120, I used it once, I think that's fair. Plus $12 shipping, $79 for a, for a $120 pedal. I'm happy with that. The person who wants to buy that should be happy with that too. I'm, I'm pleased, you know, I think that's a win-win for both of us. But here's another one, the Ditto X2, 300 bucks, 500 bucks, 400 bucks, all used. This one's just the parts, doesn't even work, 200 bucks, 220 bucks, 210 bucks, almost 300. I mean, that's not even the good one, this is the jam. This isn't the good one that I have. Let's go to the Digitech Whammy, 200, 238. This one's vintage, so that's actually kind of cool. Maybe I would have a vintage one. But here's another one, pre-owned, outrageous price. Just outrageous prices again and again and again. And like some, some of these people, $600. I mean, yeah, man, I don't even know what to say about all this. It's The prices are so absurd that I don't even good like i hope this stuff starts coming down like because this one's pre-owned that i could buy an, a new nux trident for less than that pre-owned 
450 like no man i'm not i'm not paying you 450 dollars for a used trident this one's more than the original although these are brand new actually but yeah i got one right here you know i'd sell it for 300 bucks including shipping i think that's fair it's used it's been on my desk for a little while now although i don't know if i want to get rid of the trident i actually kind of like it it's sweet um but yeah crybaby wall 180 bucks for a, a used wall this one's the crybaby mini though so th that one's actually still still overpriced but a good pedal nonetheless but yeah man this this stuff is uh i i welcome a, a, an apocalypse in prices um i think it would be great to see some of this stuff fall i mean if you want to sell all your stuff i mean good you know sell it um, you know, and while I understand that guy's video was originally about used guitars, I see the same thing in pedals, you know, uh, guitar gear in general is just, uh, you know, people are dreaming, they're dreaming. And, but the thing is, is, I guess people are buying it. It seems like, I guess there's people watching and there's people looking at it and, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with this. Um, I've got plenty of gear to sell. I probably, I'm just going to hold on to it. I like having it. Um, I'll hold on to, to most of it, you know, 80, 90% of it. Even though I made a video recently where I said I was thinking about selling it all. Realistically, I'm probably not. <laughs> it's just my place is really small, right? So like I think about selling stuff all the time, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna sell it. But yeah, you know, um, the, the prices for all this stuff is crazy. Um, you're better off to just buy new. Um, ho hopefully the, you know, things get back to normal soon or I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about it because it's bizarre to me. And I've heard the same thing exists with like uh, old gaming stuff or just like the used market in general seems to be insane. And I'm wondering if it has something to do with the recession because there's a bit of a recession happening right now. That probably is it. And um, you know, now that I think about it, it's almost like the stock market, like in a recession, people people panic and they sell things, they sell off. They sell off their stocks when they, they see it go down. And it's almost like it would be better to hold on to it you know, hold on to the stock. Um, and then when, uh, when the prices go back to maybe where they should be, then, then you could sell it. Um, for instance, I got an old Hughes and Kettner, a hundred watt switchblade and uh, I have a Mesa Mesa boogie, uh, cab. I won't, I'll never get rid of the Mesa boogie cab. I think sweet, but, uh, the Hughes and Kettner switchblade, uh, a hundred Watts is massive, bro. Like that's like playing for why I ever thought I needed to get that. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, anyway, I just had a lot to th say about that, you know, because I've noticed the exact same thing. And it, it's funny, you know, sometimes I feel like not that, not that I'm crazy, but I've just, I'm just thinking like, is everyone out of their mind? You know, like what's going on here? Am I, am I interpreting things wrong? Um, but it, it's nice to see that uh, other people are kind of noticing this as well.